These Sueto schoolgirls are learning self-defense. And so far, so good, they are picking it up. Rape is sexual abuse because there's no one that has a right to touch you where you don't feel comfortable, you know. So, yeah, it's... I think that I must take out all the anger that I have from my stomach and just fight. The goal is also to boost the girl's confidence. The amazing thing about the Empowerment Through Self-Defense workshop is we're not actually focusing on the physical, but we're focusing on the empowerment. We're using the physical as a tool to strengthen the mind. The training addresses gender stereotypes. Boys at another Soweto school are working on their emotions. One of the techniques used is mime. So he's going to act out and you guess. What we're trying to do is to teach boys empathy. And it's been incredible to see how young boys respond. Obviously, we don't want to teach them to fight because that's counterproductive. But what we do have to do is look at boys differently. Instead of looking at them as potential rapists, can't we look at them as potential active bystanders in stopping violence against women? In South Africa, every day... Parents are also in the mix. Debbie Stephen was raped twice and found telling her mother was the cause of more problems. I told her that I had been raped. She told me I was lying. So as a mom, why do you think she, she needed it to be a lie? So because she couldn't face the truth, she then put that onto me. And actually for me, that was devastating. So we need to think about this as, as mothers. Action Break Silence has taught over 13,000 schoolchildren in South Africa. The approach has got a government stamp of approval with the country's health minister, asking the NGO to train 160 instructors.